1959, we answered an advertisement in the Lancet magazine, gynecologists wanted to work in Ethiopia, and we had met the fistula patients. And they really broke our hearts to see the condition of these poor young girls and young women, young women and girls in their teens with this terribly devastating condition. After about 10 years, we decided that we had to do something about nursing these women in a special institution. They don't like going into a general hospital and mixing with other patients. They're not welcome, they're smelling, they're poor, and the other patients despise them. And they didn't like the prying eyes looking at them with this injury. So we got more and more involved with looking after these women. And it was a pleasure for us to be doing this. It was just exciting work and we got terribly involved and we really fell in love with the patients. We had one little girl not too long ago that came to us with terrible injuries in the vagina, but also contractures of the legs, the knees and hips because she'd been lying curled up for nine years on the floor on the mat. Her mother had been looking after her, lying curled up thinking well, perhaps the urine will dry up. And she was in a state of malnutrition, 22 kilos, and she was carried on the back of a poor old mother coming into the hospital. And she broke our hearts. And we've got her now walking, we've got her having intensive physiotherapy. And I feel we haven't made much progress in preventing this injury. Very, nothing. We haven't done anything to prevent this injury until the last five or six years. And when we got the idea, we really must do something. Sewing up these women year after year, training doctors to do this work, and not doing anything to prevent it, really became, in our minds, something very terrible. We have to deal with the poverty of the patients. We have to deal with the uneducated state of the patients. And we have to treat them at, in their the villages themselves. So we took the girls to be trained as midwives from the villages, from the area where they've been sent back to work. We trained them in a very clinical way so that they would be diagnosticians as well as birth attendants. And we showed them the love and compassion that these women need. This is better than any, often or better than any medicine, to show that you recognize that they're normal people and that you love them and that you want to help them. And if we put a midwife in every village of Ethiopia, we could eradicate fistulas in 50 years, I'm sure. We've got plenty of health centers built, but poorly equipped and poorly manned. And the motivation for the health officers to work in these clinics is poor because they're not paid very much, not enough, and they haven't got the equipment or the drugs that they need to help in these health centers. I'm very excited that um, we're working uh, with UNFPA in this terrible affliction that's causing trouble and sorrow all over Africa. We have to do something about this in this 21st century when everything else is being done in medicine and great advance made but what are we doing about mothers just in labor bringing a, a baby into the world and my husband used to say a mother is a family's richest possession of being of priceless value and this is what we have to uh, realize and that we're helping these mothers to have a safe delivery and a live baby. Every woman should be able to have this in the world.